Teacher talking sports, what it does, what it do, how we live, and let's continue our NBA Mount Rushmore series. Guys, we are on the 23rd of 30 teams going in alphabetical order. Today's NBA Mount Rushmore will be the Philadelphia 76ers. The 76ers started off as the Syracuse, Syracuse Nationals in the 1949-50 season. They were named that until 1962-63. Since the 1963-64 season, they have been known as the Philadelphia 76ers. They have three championships, 1955 with the Nationals, and then 1967 and 1983 with the 76ers. In these NBA Mount Rushmore's, I attempt to name the four best players in franchise history. As a subjective list, let me know in the comments who you would include. For these, I only look at how the player performed for the team I am doing. Uh, while the 76ers slash Nationals were never in the ABA, I only strictly look at the NBA. Let me tell you, this one was challenging. I actually made a change to it yesterday. So I'll go over honorable mentions at the end and mention who I took out. Uh, definitely six or seven or eight viable candidates for the four spots, but I could only choose four. Let's get into it. I named the players in alphabetical order by last name. They are not ranked. Let's start with the stilt, Wilt Chamberlain. Now, Wilt Chamberlain only played three full seasons for him from 1965-66 to 1967-68. And he joined the team in halfway through the 1964-65 season. So why is he included? Because listen to how he did. In his four seasons, 277 games with the team. Averages of 27.6 points, 23.9 rebounds, 6.8 assists while shooting 58.3% from the field. In his three full seasons with the 76ers, he was named MVP each Time three straight MVPs in the first of those seasons, 33 and a half points, 24.6 rebounds led the league. In the following season, 68.3 field goal percentage, 24.2 rebounds led the league. The third season, 67 68, 59 and a half percent shooting, 23.8 rebounds per game led the league. So he was just so dominant that I had to include him even with. Uh, not a lot of tenure with the team. He was a part of the 76ers first championship, not counting the Nationals one um, in 1967. He likely would have been named finals MVP, but the finals MVP was not handed out until two years after that. Um, after that NBA finals, but uh, one of the all time greats, of course, all three seasons, all three full seasons. He was an all NBA first team member Wilt Chamberlain just absolutely dominant player the first member of the 76ers Mount Rushmore next we got one of the most exciting players from the 70s and 80s Dr. J Julius Irving Irving started his career in the ABA but joined the NBA and the 76ers in the 1976-77 season, where he went on to play 11 years. In his 836 career regular season games, Irving posted averages of 22 points, 6.7 rebounds, 3.9 assists, 1.8 steals, and 1.5 and blocks while shooting 50.7% from the field. Irving was an all-star in all 11 seasons. He played for the 76ers. And in was a champion on the 82-83 team. All in all, he went on to win the MVP in the 1980-81 season. And he also had finishes of second, third, two fifths, a sixth, and a tenth with the 76ers. He was named to five straight all NBA first teams from 77-78 to 82-83. Also was named all NBA second team twice. Dr. J. Julius Irving uh, was also the 1983 All-Star Game MVP, one of the all-time greats from his era. Dr. J. Julius Irving, the second member of the 76ers Mount Rushmore. Next, let's go a little further back to Hal Greer, who was the 14th overall pick by the Syracuse Nationals in the 1958 draft. He played his whole career with the franchise, first five seasons with the Nationals, and his last nine with 
excuse me, last 10 with the 76ers. Okay, just double checking. In his 15 years with the team, 1,122 career regular season games, franchise record, averages at 19.2 points, five rebounds, four assists, shooting over 80% from the charity stripe. Hal Greer was named to 10 straight all-star teams from 60-61 until 69-70, was a part of the 76ers championship team in 1967. And he had an awesome uh, playoffs that year. 27.7 points, 5.9 rebounds, 4.3 assists. Greer averaged over 20 points a game in seven straight seasons from 63-64 to 68-69. Also doing so in 61-62. He was the 1968 All-Star Game Most Valuable Player. Seven times he was named to the second uh, second team All-NBA member. And he finished 6th in MVP voting in 1963-64. Greer unfortunately passed away in 2018, but he's the third member of the 76ers Mount Rushmore. And let's end with the most recent of the four guys on here. AI Allen Iverson, uh, first overall pick by the 76ers in 1996, inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2016. He played for the Sixers. From 96-97 until he was traded early in the 2006-07 season. Ended his career back with the Sixers in 2009-10, playing 25 games with the team. In his 722 career regular season games, AI posted averages of 27.6 points, 3.9 rebounds, 6.1 assists, and 2.3 steals. Uh, Despite his diminutive stature, Listed at six foot, one hundred sixty-five pounds, uh, he rarely was taken out of the game. Five times led the league in minutes per game with the 76ers. He uh, led the league in scoring four times, four times scoring champion. Three of those seasons over thirty points a game with Philly for three straight seasons from two thousand two thousand one to two thousand two oh three. AI led the league in steals per game in two thousand two thousand one. He had his historic playoffs where he helped guide a Sixers team, uh, lacking much talent besides him, leading him to the NBA Finals where they did beat the Lakers one game. The Lakers only lost in that playoffs. Uh, In 2000-2001, AI was named the most valuable player, 96-97 Rookie of the Year. Uh, He had other MVP finishes, uh, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 9th, and 10th in his career. AI... Was named All-NBA First Team three times, All-NBA Second Team three times, and All-NBA Third Team three times. He was named to nine All-Star teams, excuse me, eight All-Star teams with the 76ers. Allen Iverson, uh, known as pound for pound, maybe the best basketball player or the toughest basketball player, uh, pound for pound, the fourth member of the 76ers, Mount Rushmore. So again, alphabetical order by last name. We have Wilt Chamberlain, Julius Irving, Hal Greer, and Allen Iverson. Again, I mentioned that I made a change to this. I originally had Sir Charles, Charles Barkley. Um, I took him off in order to put Wilt Chamberlain. Barkley, of course, had a longer tenure with the Sixers, but as I talked about, Chamberlain was named league MVP all three of his full seasons with the team and also helped guide them to a championship. Uh, other honorable mentions include Dolph Shays, Moses Malone, Maurice Cheeks, Billy Cunningham, Chet Walker, and current player Joel Embiid. Uh, so let me know in the comments who you would include on your 76ers Mount Rushmore. Definitely not an easy one. And when I'm done with all the NBA Mount Rushmore's, I'm going to power rank them all. The 76ers will likely be near the top. That was an awesome Mount Rushmore. So again, doing one team daily. Tomorrow will be the Phoenix Suns. Uh, do I rectify the situation uh, by putting Charles Barkley on the Suns Mount Rushmore since I just took him off the 76ers. Find out tomorrow, but don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. Like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.